and those wounds or injuries that were found in his body were consistent with somebody who had gotten into a fight. And the problem, again, because the Thai officials took so long to process this autopsy. Now going back to the night Leo died, I remember making the video after I saw the news that he passed away. And shortly after I released my video, I was contacted by the Pattaya News, which gave me more information in the videos that I was making. Now, after shortly after the death and those videos were, were made, I got closer to Lucy, who is um, Leo's late uh, wife. And uh, I worked with her and tried my best to help out in the investigation. I had correspondence with the FBI. And I did my best to give any information that I possibly could to try to find out and piece together what happened that night. And uh, there's been information known uh, within the circle, but we haven't been able to talk about it or put the information out until now. And Lucy just made a video. You could watch it on her channel. It's a great video. And she went over so many of those details and um, on her thoughts of what she thought happened that night. What I think happened is that someone came and attacked him or multiple people, who knows. And Leo was somebody that would defend himself and he was very strong. One of his punch will hurt someone very bad. Somebody probably came with an object because that's what I've done to get somebody like him and the fight ended up in the bathroom and I think he got hit in the head and I think the internal breathing, brain injury that started making him weaker and that the cyan closed the bathroom door and that he tried to open it and why do I think that? It's because of the door handle from the inside of the bathroom that's broken and I think he didn't have the strength and it just passed out and died behind the door. There was also something with the bathroom, the toilet in particular, uh, that looked like there was bolts that were coming out and or like somebody had some tools. And this is what I found. Um, I found a series of text messages between Tony and, and Leo. And Leo mentioned to Tony that there is a mold issue or some kind of issue with the bathroom and asked Tony to send a plumber to fix it. I knew Leo very well. He would have never touched a tool from a mile away unless it was something big and he was very scared of mold. So that could have been maybe he tried to do something with the toilet, but he would have not done anything further than that. Now, let's talk about the crime scene before we get into the other details. The crime scene itself, when it happened, we were all looking at the photos Tony was at the scene, people were there stepping on everything, making a mess of everything. We're like, how does an investigation go on like this because of the tampering that could happen when people are just walking all over the place? And uh, unfortunately, it did cause issues in the investigation itself because there was DNA found on the scene that wasn't Leo's. And uh, unfortunately... The Thai officials didn't process that DNA information. And as to why, I'm going to get into that more in this video and why I feel there's a problem from day one with the investigation there. So the police actually got fingerprints from the place and DNA sample. Um, they got fingerprints on the bathroom and they got some other DNA. I've got the confirmation that they have found another DNA that was not life is. But as same for the fingerprints, no results, nothing came out of this. Meaning, they have not produced any report. They have not processed the evidence. We are eight months from the time that they found his body and those evidence have not been processed and analyzed. And we're talking here about the Thai police, which I do not trust to be throughout. I do not trust that they're biased and I do trust that they're corrupted. And multiple evidence show that 
Now, the autopsy. Everybody has been wondering what was the official cause of death, and there was problems with the translation from Thai to English. But I'm going to read this for you guys here, the actual cause of death of Leo. Cause of death, brain trauma due to blunt object impact, which means he was either hit on the head by something or an object, or maybe he fell, hit his head. But when you're looking at this autopsy, which I'm going to show on the screen again, there was external wounds on his body that don't look like he was hit by falling on the floor and knocking his head and dying. And those wounds or injuries that were found in his body were consistent with somebody who had gotten into a fight. And the problem, again, because the Thai officials took so long to process this autopsy, in fact, they didn't even do the autopsy until they were pressured by the FBI in the United States. And the problem was the body was decomposing. So some of the injuries, maybe more that we can't even see, can't even be processed because of the decomposition. So we're going to take a look now at the toxicology report, which I'm going to also show on the screen. And if you notice, the only things that were in his body was the drugs that he was taking as medication, a tiny bit of alcohol, which it would have had no effect on him, and THC from marijuana because we knew he smoked marijuana. So when you're looking at that, now we clearly know he wasn't going through a manic episode that could have been influenced by drugs or alcohol. And piecing those things together, you only could come to one conclusion that he was killed. And now the major problem with all of this is the Thai officials closed this case months ago. But it was reopened because Lucy actually reached out to the United States government and the FBI uh, and they pressured the Thai police and officials to reopen the case to investigate what happened. Now saying all that, you wonder to yourself who would have killed Leo because there's been so much speculation like I've never seen in my life about what could have caused his death. And we know the story that Tony told us because I interviewed him and he told us the story about the Sharmuta, which is a call girl that was with Leo that night and there was a conflict, there was an issue with her and supposedly there was physical a physical altercation that night that he died. We know about that. I mean, there's definitely screams that come from his room, but this is like next level screaming. This is like... I don't think this is okay screaming. Yeah. So I was pretty nervous about it, but like, you don't, um, ha, huh, like, I don't want to disturb Leo's privacy during certain times. Like, certainly when he's with a girl, I don't want to, like, interrupt and I, and I don't know what's going on. And so, but later she comes out, uh, to my room to talk to my girl when I mean, she's done in his room and she's, uh, yeah crying and she's holding her neck like she can't breathe and uh yeah just uh, kind of a mess and i knew what happened uh, but i had my girl talk to her and then explain to me what happened and i said okay we need to calm this down right now before someone calls the police lucy got his phone and his laptop and the last photos that were in Leo's phone were sexual pictures of Leo and that call girl. And they were taken at 3.52 a.m. that night. Those were the last, almost the last pictures in his phone. Because shortly after that, three hours actually after that, 6.02 a.m., there was a short video, two-second video taken and a, a, a picture, like, you know, when you put your finger on the phone, a picture taken at 6 or 2 a.m. The last image, it's a bizarre image. It's like a blackout. And there's it's followed by a video that's like two seconds with no, no sound and it's all pitch black, which was taken at 6 or 2 a.m. But those were the last photos that were taken in Leo's phone. So we know 
the last moments he was alive, they were around the time after the Sharmuta left his house or his apartment where he was staying with, with uh, Tony. Lucy mentions in her video that she worked at a place that was owned by a person who owns the Pattaya News. Interestingly, and I don't know if I'm making connection where there is none, but you can think by yourself and make your own conclusion. But the same girl that was seen by Leo, and keep in mind that she was the friend of the girl Tony was seeing. She worked for one of those Thai bar. And the individual owning that bar is the same individual that owns the Pattaya News, which was the first article that I found regarding Leo's passing. Now, shortly after I made the video on uh, Leo's passing, like I was saying earlier, I worked with the Pattaya News. Why? Because they reached out to me. The owner of Pattaya News reached out to me, giving me information on uh, on the case. And we were going back and forth, and we were in contact with each other for months after. And what I'm going to say with on that, um, maybe he has information that can help find out what happened to Leo. So I'm urging him um, to work with the FBI and work with the Thai officials because maybe he has information because that girl worked for him in one of his bars that he owns. And I think if Lucy never got in touch because she got in touch with a senator in California that put pressure on the Thai officials. I think if she never got in touch with them, we would have never known or even gotten any of the information we've even gotten on the case itself. Now, I know a lot of you, you know, you say, you know, Leo, his character, the person that he showed he was, didn't seem like such a pleasant person. And what happened that night with the call girl, he probably met his fate. And why does it matter how he died? And my feelings towards that is all of us in life, especially Leo, he was in his early 30s. We all deserve a second chance in life to become a better person. Go and think about yourself in your younger days. And if you're trying to become a better person, you learn from the mistakes you made in the past and it helps you become better every day. And you had a second chance to do that. Leo being killed and dying the way he did is never going to get that chance in life. And I know that two weeks before he died, he tried to reach out to Lucy. They wanted to get back together. And it seemed he was maybe taking steps in life to become that better person. But him being gone, he's never going to get that chance. And seeing somebody die so young, the way he did in Thailand, and the way it's been all over the internet, his pictures of his death, everything about this whole thing. You never want to see somebody die like that. If I could only hear you say that you're coming back to me before tomorrow, life without you's cool, but I know I'd be a fool to make you stay. A ray of sunshine sometimes.